Good day, everyone. Today, I'm excited to guide you through the process of inserting winding symbols into your document, a skill that can add a unique flair to your work. Let's dive right in. Firstly, let's navigate to the Insert tab at the top of your document. This is where the magic begins. Once you've clicked on Insert, your next step is to find and select the symbol option. It's usually located towards the right side of the menu. Don't rush. Take your time to familiarize yourself with the options available to you. After selecting symbol, a new window will pop up. Here, you'll need to look for a button that says Moray Symbols. Clicking on this will take you deeper into the treasure trove of symbols that Word offers. It's like opening a door to a new world of possibilities. Now, this is where the journey gets interesting. You will see a list of fonts, but we're on a quest for one in particular, the Wingdings font. Click on the font drop-down menu and scroll until you find Wingdings. Selecting it will reveal a variety of symbols, from arrows to quirky shapes, all at your disposal. But what if you don't have the Wingdings font installed? No worries at all. It's simply an opportunity to install a new font on your system. And if you're assisting a friend and they don't have it, well, it's a chance to explore together. Sometimes, not having something can lead to new discoveries. Remember, if you're searching for a specific symbol and can't find it in Wingdings, don't be disheartened. The world of fonts is vast, and there's usually an alternative that can fit your needs. It's all about exploring and finding what works best for you. Let's not overlook the reading tool, a feature that might come in handy during this process. It can provide you with different ways to insert and work with symbols, making your task a bit easier. After you've selected your desired symbol from the Wingdings options, all that's left is to click Insert. With that, you've successfully added a touch of personality to your document. It's a small step, but it's these little details that can truly make your work stand out. I hope this guide has been helpful and has made the process of inserting winding symbols both easy and enjoyable. Remember, it's not just about the symbols themselves, but about the creativity and personal touch you bring to your projects. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Keep exploring, keep creating, and until next time, farewell. Type open for work in the comments if you are currently looking for jobs. Continue exploring. Watch this video now for more ideas.